All right, Allie, I didn't want to say anything before, but you're starting to freak me out. Why? You've barely said one word since I picked up from the police station. I was just thinking. Well, that scares me, too. Emily's got so many people accusing her of breaking into Fairwinds and haunting Rosanna that even she's believing she's guilty. What are you talking about? Emily told me that she had this memory flash. It was really quick, but she saw herself at Fairwinds holding a doll. The same doll that Will? Whoa. They've got a witness, a receipt for the doll signed by Emily, a videotape of her buying the thing. No wonder she's starting to think that it's the truth, but Aaron, come on, she doesn't have anything okay. against her. Okay, well, I'm sure there's gotta be a, a logical explanation for this. Yeah, but what? Well, I guess it's up to us to find out. I thought you might be thirsty. Thanks. Okay. Are you sure you don't wanna make a call to your dad? I would if I knew what to say. Uh, well, you could start by telling them all about your first day at school. Feels like a million years ago already. All, all I thought about all day was Emily taking the polygraph test. If she passes, my life is over. <laughs> oh, my, for heaven's sakes. That's not true. What, what's the worst that could happen? I get sent back to the mental hospital, I get sent to prison, or, or by some miracle, I get to stay on the outside and everyone looks at me like a walking time no bomb way. about to explode. No way. None of those things are gonna happen. You know, I think you and Uncle Bob are the only two people that have never doubted me. Listen, pal. I have known you your whole life. When people change, they make mistakes. You're right, they do. They make mistakes. All of us do. But those years are behind you. And I don't believe for a moment that there is a cruel bone in your body. If you know that, and I know that, then what's my dad's excuse? Hal, you have to believe me. I didn't do anything wrong. Detective, are you sure about this? No! No, listen to me. You cannot put your faith in some stupid test. Listen to me. You have to believe me. He did believe you. When you swore up and down that you were telling the truth, when you volunteered to take that lie detector hey, test hey, in the hey, first hey, place. You call but you now? failed. Now lock her up, Hal, right now. Or I'll find somebody else who will. What are you getting out of all this, Henry? I don't know what you mean. I'm pretty sure that you do. Huh. You're always on Katie's side telling me about her legendary love affair with Mike, running interference. And that is spoken like a woman who has never had or been a real friend. What you have with Katie is not friendship. It's an obsession. Is there anything that you wouldn't do for her? No. Not a thing, Jen. I, I, I have known Katie a long time, about five years, going on forever. And I have been to jail because of her. I, I, I have broken untold laws with, for, and because of her. I, I have cried with her. I have lied with her. I, I've, I've been stranded because of her. I've almost died because of her. And you know what? I would do it all again. Hell, I'd even give up Jen for that woman. Why? Because I'm in love with her. That's why. So you're in love with Jennifer. Yeah, I am. Incredible. She's an incredible woman. I just didn't realize things between you two were so serious. I told you I cared about her. What, what more did you have to hear? Well, you've cared about a lot of women. But I've loved only a few. Does Jennifer know how you feel about her? Because I've spent some one on one time with her and I should butt out. Why well, start now? Say what you have to say. Well, all I'm saying is that she doesn't seem all that secure about your relationship. That's because you don't know her like I do. She's very secure. Then why was she so freaked out about us spending time together? Maybe she doesn't trust you. Well, you forget that I know what it's like to be loved by you. Really loved. And if you really felt that way about Jennifer... Go on. Point. You're not in love with Jennifer. You're just using her to push me away.
Let's get something straight. I care way too much about Jennifer to use her for anything. Not consciously, anyway. Look, just because you'd rather play games than be up front with people doesn't mean the rest of all is like that, too. Mike, I'm sorry I lied. I'm sorry, and if I have to say that every day, every week, for years, I will do that. I'll do whatever it takes to get you not to be angry at me anymore. I'm not angry. There's just not much left to say. So when was the big moment? When did you tell Jennifer you were in love with her? Well, technically it hasn't happened yet. Wow. Wow what? Well, don't you think it's a little weird that you're telling me before you're telling her? Isn't the ex the last to know? You said we should both be honest. I'm just, I'm being as honest as I can. Then how long have you been in love with her? I don't really see how that matters. For weeks, a couple months, the minute you saw my face. What's important here is you lied. Okay, you left and I moved on, which is exactly what you wanted me to do. It wasn't easy, but... So she makes you happy? Yeah. She's funny. She's, she's thoughtful. She's a very loving person. What you've always wanted. Doesn't mean I'm gonna forget about all the times we spent together. Oh, great. No, look, listen, uh... Katie, I am always gonna care about you. It's always gonna be a place in my heart for you, but I... I used to love living there. But, I mean, it's not like this is a goodbye, right? We're still gonna be friends, aren't we? Always. <sighs> Good, well... That's what's important. I mean, that's how we started, right, friends? So if you're happy, I'm happy. <laughs> okay. I better get going. I have a ton to do, and you got to get back to your work. So um, I'll see you around, okay? Bye, Katie. You told Katie how you feel about her? <laughs> we have an unspoken understanding. Uh, I leave my feelings unspoken because I understand that it would be a waste of time to tell her. Oh, you don't know that for sure. Maybe Katie's feeling exactly what you're feeling. Yes, she is, for Mike, which is unfortunate for us because I'm not Mike and you're not Katie. Why would I want to be Katie? Mike is with me now. Mm. Uh, yeah, he is until that old magic kicks in and then, then they'll be inseparable and they'll be laughing at each other's jokes and they'll be in their own little world. Henry, and... Mike and I have magic of our own. We have incredible chemistry together. I, I'm sure you do. I'm sure it's skyrockets in flight material, Jen. But, you know, the fact is, sweetheart, that even if worlds collide when your lips touch, it will not hold a candle to what those two had. I'm not just talking about something physical, Henry. Anyone can have that. What Mike and I, we, we have so much more. We have a connection that goes very deep because we've worked at it. We made a pact, mm. and we're not... We're not willing to settle for anything less than the whole package. Congratulations. That sounds very fulfilling. It is. Because I know Mike. I know he cares about me. And I know he's not going to toss me aside simply because Katie decided she wants him back. I'm not saying this. I'm not saying this as Katie's friend. I'm saying this as a guy who's been there. Listen, if you care for Mike as much as you say you do, and friendship is all you can get out of it, be Mike's friend. The way that you've been Katie's? No way. That's not enough. I want it all. Well, good luck. And give me a call if you need a friend. I'm good at that. Will, you know how much your father loves you. Loves me but doesn't believe in me. He's a detective. He's trained to look for evidence. Paul gave him all the evidence he needed. He gave him the receipt from the toy store and showed him the videotape that had Emily buying the stupid doll. And, and what did Dad do? He bent over backwards defending her. Well, she's his wife. And I'm his son. What more did he need? Well, sooner or later, you're going to have to find a way to make things right with your dad. Me? Why is it up to me? Sometimes you have to make the first move. Look, you know you were right. Sometimes 
You have to be the bigger man. It's not going to change what he did to me or how he made me feel. Emily's polygraph is going to prove that you were right all along. And when that happens, your father is going to need you more than you could ever imagine. He's going to need your love. He's going to need your forgiveness and your support. And I would bet my life that that is exactly what you were going to give him because I know you and because I believe in you. Thanks for the guilt trip. <laughs> Are you sure you don't want me to go down to the police station with you? Thanks anyway. And for the record, yeah. being the bigger man stinks. <laughs> See you. Hey, Bob. Ben. Good to see you. What brings you here? Uh, I was hoping to find Dr. Ramirez. Oh, Ramirez is out of town on a speaking engagement. Oh, um... This wouldn't have anything to do with Aaron Snyder, would it? As a matter of fact, uh, I saw Aaron at Metro the other night, and Allison said that his arm hadn't regained movement. You know, Ramirez is really on top of his physical therapy. Hey, no doubt. I mean, he's got the whole team working on trying to improve Aaron's condition. But the last thing I want to do is second-guess another physician. Ben, I gotta take this. I'll uh, I'll tell Ramirez that you dropped by. What's stopping you, Hal? Emily's right there, plenty of holding cells downstairs. You wanna take it down and Put her under lock and key so she doesn't break into my house tonight and terrify my wife. What? What? I, I... What, you thought Will was guilty? Yeah, that's what Emily wanted everybody to think. Very clever way of trying to get rid of my kid brother. I didn't want to get rid of anyone. I love Will. Then how can the lie detector test says that you've been a very busy girl? Listen to me. You know this was a mistake. So what? I would never do this. The lie detector test is lying. Everybody's lying. You're the only one who's telling the truth. Is it possible there could have been a glitch in the machine? Stress. Emotional stress could have an effect on the results. She was very anxious. Well, of course she, of course she was anxious. She knew she was going to get busted for trying to set up your son. Why did she take the test to begin with? She volunteered to take the test, Hal, because she she figured that you would never take her up on it. Oh, for heaven's sakes, she could have backed out at any time. Why would she set herself up like that? I don't like know, that? cry for help. She obviously didn't think she was going to get caught. Oh, stop, but Father, you just stop. Can I please just go home? Home? You think you're going home? After you, you tortured my wife with reminders of her dead son? After you tried to make her think that she was losing her mind? I can't believe I would do this. Margo. Yeah, Emily, come on, let's go. Get some coffee, some peace. You get in my wife's face again, and you'll be the one begging for mercy. Do you understand? Oh, good, you're still here. Hey, there she is. How'd it go with Mike? Awful. I don't care what anyone says. The truth is just a crutch for people who lack depth and imagination. Miss Jennifer is a big fan of the truth, so you figure it out. What, what happened? I did everything you said. Yeah. I told Mike that I wasn't going to make excuses for anything that I'd done. I took responsibility. I pledged my undying love. And I told him that I would do whatever it takes to get him back. And? <sighs> Nothing? <laughs> did, you, did you do that thing where you tilt your head to the side and, and you slightly open your lips and, like, the suggestion of a kiss? Did you... Of course. And he didn't, he didn't fall to your feet? What is the man made of stone? I just need to know what to do next, okay? Plan E, plan F. Okay, okay, okay. I think it's time to do something radical. How radical? Move on. Like Mike's moved on. Is that what he said? Well, he said he was in love with Jennifer. Can you believe that? Oh, you poor kid. That must have killed you. I'm sorry you had to hear it that way. Are you kidding? That was the most positive thing he said the entire time. <laughs> How is Mike being in love with Jennifer a positive thing? Because he's not in love with her. He just told me that to push me away. Oh, sweetie, this isn't a case of wishful thinking. I don't know what is. I accused him and he denied it, but what else was he going to do? I know the truth. What if you're wrong? What if, what if he's trying to tell you that you missed your chance and it's finally over between you two? I'm, I'm just saying, Bubbles, what if he's fallen head over heels with someone else? Hi. Thanks for meeting me here. Sound important? It is. And it has something to do with Katie? 
How'd you know that? I ran into her partner in crime at the Lakeview, and since he was sitting at a table for two finishing off someone else's meal, I just put two and two together and assumed that his other half was having another go at you. Another go? Listen. Let's not make a huge deal about this, okay? We, you and I have both been around the block a few times, and I'm just thankful that we had the sense and self-control not to say or do anything that we couldn't take back. And you've been a terrific friend, and Katie is a very lucky whoa, woman Whoa, whoa, slow down. What are you talking about? I'm letting you off the hook, Mike. I don't want you to agonize over how to break my heart. Why would I do something like that? On the phone, you sounded so ominous. There was something earth-shattering that you had to tell me. It is. I know, it's Katie. Katie has nothing to do with why I invited you here. I don't understand. Look, I, I asked you to come over because I've been keeping something inside for a while. You're driving me crazy. In a good way? In the best way. I love you, Jennifer. Marco, even you have to believe that I could never hurt Rosanna like this. It, it, it just doesn't make sense. You know what? You should relax. I don't need to talk about this. I'm myself crazy trying to figure out why that machine. Well, you don't understand. You should not talk about this right now to me. You don't think I'm going to be arrested, do you? I, I don't know. I don't know the pertinent details of the case. Well, this isn't a case. It's, it's a mistake. It, 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 this is a nightmare. What's going to happen to Daniel? You don't have to worry about Daniel. Well, I have to worry about him. He's my son. Were they going to try to take him away from me, too? Emily, please. Yeah. Sorry to interrupt, Detective. What do you need? You got a call at your desk. Are you going to be OK here by yourself for a while? All right. I'll be right back. How are you, son? Now, what artwork have you got for me today? Oh, look at this. This is so beautiful. Belongs in the Louvre. But since we don't have a Louvre, I'll put it on the fridge. OK, let's do that. Um, <laughs> sweetheart, it's time to wash up for dinner. So let's put oh, all of that away. I know. Aw, oh, man. What a drag. Let's put this away. You go wash your hands, wash your face. And come down for dinner. Scoop. Oh, my God. Uh. You're doing it again, Allie. Doing what? Going quiet on me. I'm still trying to figure out if Emily could have done what they're accusing her of. Everything is so confusing. Yeah, well, I'm sure Emily had issues with Will being released from the institution and moving in with her and Hal. Yeah, maybe at first, but she got over it. And if she did have any real problems with Will getting out of the hospital, she'd deal with it head on. She wouldn't play dead baby tricks on Rosanna to make it look like Will's got a screw loose. <sighs> Something is not right with this picture. Emily likes Rosanna, she likes Will. Hello? Allison, it's me. Oh, Emily, thank God. Where are you? I'm at your place. Um, packing some of Daniel's stuff, his uh, clothes and toys and stuff. Did you find the backpack? Yeah, I've got it right here. I need you to do something for me, honey. It's very important. Anything. Name it. There's a map inside the backpack. It's handmade. I need you to find the map. 
I see some uh, papers and books and stuff. Okay, there's there's a coloring on the other side of it, a picture Daniel made. Yeah, I've got it. Turn it over. Do you see the map? It's a floor plan of Fairwinds. Elsa, listen to me. Listen very carefully. This is very important. Thanks a million, honey. Thank you for taking care of that for me. I love you. I gotta run. Everything okay? Uh, it was Allison. She's uh, picking up some of Daniel's things for me. Oh, she's a sweet sister. Yeah, the best. Well, what'd she say? She got all polite and hung up. Somebody must have walked in on her. What do you think? Well, this is definitely Fairwinds. I mean, I remember this place by heart from when Lucy still lived there. Are you sure this is Emily's handwriting? Oh, yeah, I'd know her handwriting anywhere. Then, Allie, this is some serious evidence. I know. What's the last thing Emily told you before she hung up? She told me to take care of it and that she didn't know what she'd do without me. But you are going to turn us into the cops, right? Allie. Coming up on As the World Turns. You're the only woman I want to wake up to. All you have to do is say the word. Allie, wait. I can't let you do that. You can't stop me, Aaron. I'm not. I suppose you have a better idea. I thought you'd never ask. You have to turn that into the police. That is evidence. Against my sister. Well, you can't destroy it. But it's on private property. It belonging to Lieutenant Hal Munson. And my sister. And it's not like the police found it. I did. I can do whatever I want with it. Ellie, your sister's in the middle of an official investigation right now. It's not like she killed somebody. And it's not up to you to decide what her punishment should be. She would do the same for me. Oh, you think so? Yes. Your sister would break the law for you? Yes, and I'm not going to let my only sister go to jail. Fine. What about Will? Hmm? You're gonna have him sent away for something he didn't even do? No! Well, you know that's what's gonna happen. They're gonna lock him up again. <sighs> this time for longer, because this time he's older. This time he can't say somebody made him do it. It's gonna be your fault and Will's gonna suffer for Stop it. Stop it! Why are you doing this to me? You feel guilty yet? Yes! You have to stop racing around, saving Emily's butt, and look at the big picture here. Okay? You're about to destroy evidence in a house that belongs to the, the, the chief detective. Okay, you have a record. Are you ready to do time with your sister? Because I'm not ready to let you go. Who is it? It's Barbara. She's back. So what happens now? Well, Hale's meeting with Detective Langston to get a more thorough evaluation of your polygraph. How much longer do I have to stay? Why are, are you worried about Daniel? Uh, no, Allison is uh, taking him to my mom's. Good. Well, then everything's fine. Does everything seem fine? Margo, can you please find out when I get to go home? Sure. I'll be right back. Why don't you go on up to uh, my office? Have a seat. And I'll be right up. OK. Hey, how's hmm. Emily? Well, Emily wants to know when she can go home. Tell her 25 to life. Uh, Paul? I'm not going to tell you this again. Stay out of it. I'm already in the middle of this, Alan. If you don't arrest Emily now, knowing what you now know... Get your facts straight. A polygraph is not admissible in a court of law. It's circumstantial at best. It doesn't invalidate the results. She is innocent until proven Spoken guilty. like the husband of the accused. And words I have used to defend you in the past. Yeah, but it didn't stop you from trying to find you the truth. You don't like the way no, I'm handling I this case? I don't like the way you're handling it. I think you're too you. close to it. I, think you I am looking for the truth, just like everybody Will else. Will already told you the truth. And he could be wrong. Well, you could be wrong, too. I'll prove I was telling the truth. You guys are yelling at each other so much, must mean Emily failed her lie detector test, huh? The results are still inconclusive. Well, then test me, Dad. I'm the only eyewitness. I'm the one who saw Emily at Fairwinds. Hook me up. I'll take the test. I'll give you your truth. There you go, House. You say you're looking for the truth. Here's a volunteer. So what are you going to do? All right. I'll have Langston set it up.
Look, I know I don't work here anymore, and I don't mean to overstep, but if I could get a minute or two. Then we all know that what happened in Aaron's surgery was not your fault. Dr. Winters has been no, dealt with the no, matter's no, closed. I, I know, I know. I'm, I'm not here because I feel responsible. I'm here because I can't stop thinking about Aaron's recovery. Well, because he can move his leg, but his arm has not regained function. I exactly. Now, has anybody checked for residual swelling on the brain? I'm sure Ramirez would have said something. He might have missed it. And as much as we hate to admit it, us doctors are not infallible, and it wouldn't hurt to take a second look, right? What if I'm wrong about Mike and Jennifer? What if they really are in love? Are you insane? No, I'm only playing devil's advocate, that's all. Do you know something, Henry? I know, I know you, Bubbles, and take it from me that, you know, you, you can't win them all. Why are you saying this? I just, I, I want to save you from further embarrassment and a lifetime of pining after something that will never be. Mike is pretending to be in love with dependable old Jennifer because he is afraid of getting hurt by me again. Wrong, wrong. There, I'm sorry, there are real feelings there. Just because Jennifer has a thing for Mike doesn't mean that he feels the same way about her. Mike didn't look at another woman after you left, okay? He was living like a monk until Jennifer came along. Women were throwing themselves at him day and night, and I'm, Jennifer's the only one that got to him. Henry, what is this? What, is, I don't, what do you mean? Well, if I didn't know any better, I would wonder whose side you were on. <laughs> Come on, yours, Katie. Forever and always. You love me. You need me to say it a couple hundred more times. Actually, yeah. Yeah. That might help. You don't believe me? Oh, of course I believe you. It's just the last thing that I expected you to say. And it's... It's something you should only say if you really, really, really mean it. I do mean it. You absolutely... 100% sure? It's not the kind of thing a guy goes around talking about until he's absolutely sure. <sighs> oh. Mm. Oh, wow, this is incredible. Tell me about it. Threw me for a loop, too. What do you mean? Uh, you were right about Katie, giving it another go. She pulled out all the stops. Kept asking why we couldn't pick up where we left off. What'd you tell her? I told her it's over. Because I'm in love with someone else. Are you just gonna stand there with that grin on your face? You're gonna say something. Okay, I promise this is our absolute last strategy session. All right. This doesn't work. What doesn't work? The brilliant plan we're about to devise to let Mike know that he is with the wrong woman mm. for the wrong reasons. Right, because he was only using Jennifer to fool himself that he was over you. Right. Mm -hmm. And he needs to know that you were manipulating him because? It was a necessary evil. Mm. A family curse. Whatever. Anyway, whatever we decide to do, we can't just come up with it off the top of our heads. We have to really, really plan it out this time. Sweetheart, if this plan becomes any more complicated, we're gonna have to hand out librettos. I suppose you have a better idea? I thought you'd never ask. <laughs> with a few words, I convinced Katie that we were over, but with you, I think it's gonna take more than the words. After what I have been through, most definitely. Let me prove it to you. All right. Morning, noon, and night. As long as you let me. You are the only woman I want to wake up to. All you have to do is say the word. Grandma? Anybody? It's Aaron. Anybody home? Nobody's home. They must, they must be out. They're probably at the barn. 
Man, that was close. Thank God you looked out the window and saw Barbara getting out of her car. She would have walked right in on us. Well, I have just as much right to be in that house as she does, more even. Allie, you're holding evidence that can incriminate your sister and put her in jail. Okay, I mean, how the heck are you going to explain that one? I would have come up with something. That's what scares me. <sighs> but do you want something to eat while we wait for my dad? Uh, I, I hope that you don't take this the wrong way, and it's not that I don't trust him, but... Yeah, but you don't trust him. Well, the less that he knows, the better. If we tell him about the map that we found, it'll be a, what do you call it, an accessory. Accessory? We, we're accessories, Allie. We need to talk to somebody, and I know my father won't rat us out. Well, I don't There's even no want to put him in that position, Aaron. No, no, no. We have to keep this between the two of us. And do what? If you want to walk away, now's the time. You have a plan. Emily needs me. Emily needs me. Emily. Your sister who lied to you. Your sister who betrayed you. And you know you can go to jail because of her now. I mean, how could you even think? How could you take such a, a crazy risk, Allie? I love her. And I'd risk anything for someone that I love. No questions asked. I guess that's why being loved by Allison Stewart is so amazing. What's going on? I got a kid who's volunteered for a lie detector test and a wife who's failed one. <sighs> Please, somebody just tell me what I should do. Hell, you, exactly what you are doing. You're keeping your eyes and the investigation open. <sighs> what do you think? Honestly? Well, you know, I've never been a real big fan of Emily's. I mean, she's done some pretty rotten things in the past, but I gotta tell you, stalking, breaking, and entering, I think she's learned a lesson on that. My point exactly. What's up? I asked Will if he saw Mrs. Munson at Fairwinds on the night in question, if she was carrying a doll, and if, in fact, he was positive that it was Mrs. Munson. Yeah, and? You still answered each question in the affirmative. Polygraph backed him up. Is that enough for you? Do you finally believe me? Allie, wait. I can't let you do that. You can't stop me, Aaron. I'm not. Allow me. We're a team. And whatever happens to one of us, happens to both. Don't listen to me. Listen to me. You love me. You know me. Not as well as you thought. You know, I would never deliberately hurt an innocent woman. She was just a means to an end. No! You wanted to get rid of Will, so you tried to pin all this on him. No! Do this. Just leave her Look, I never claimed to be a perfect person. I've always owned up to my mistakes, but this is not one of them. I swear to God, it's not. You have got to believe me, please. Emily, I believe you. OK, good. So we'll figure this out. I'll help you solve it, whatever it takes. Please, just baby, believe me. Baby, it's out of my hands. Out of your hands? What do, what, do you, what do you mean? What are you saying? I can't handle this case. You have to. I'm sorry. No. Oh, God, don't be sorry. you got to help me. What is, what is he saying? Oh, Emily, we have an eyewitness. We have enough evidence to formally charge you with criminal no, trespass. No, no, honey. And entering harassment. No, help, please. Oh, God, don't go. Your hands, please. Oh. oh. Emily Munson, you have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. You have the right to an attorney and to have an attorney present during any and all questioning. If you cannot afford an attorney, one will be provided by the court. Do you understand? I'm not questioning Ramirez's skills. He's a fine neurosurgeon. I have no desire to butt heads. I'm just, I'm just reminding you of what you always taught us that we should exhaust every opportunity to improve the quality of the patient's life. I'll take it under advisement. Okay. Can't ask for more than that. Thanks, Bob. Are you going to say hello or just hover there, smiling like the Cheshire Cat all afternoon? I haven't decided. 
I suppose you were eavesdropping. I couldn't help but overhear. Then why didn't you venture an opinion? Well, what good would it do? Not at all. Because you're aware of hospital protocol. Oh, yes, oh, yes, oh, yes. But surely my brilliant husband wouldn't allow those dusty old rules to interfere with his natural impulse to do the right thing. Uh, this is Dr. Hughes. I want you to call Aaron Schneider. Yes, I'd like to talk to him about uh, some additional tests. Thank you. You got a lot of things going for you, Mike Kaznoff. The outside is so gorgeous. It makes you wonder if the inside could compete. But the more I see of your heart, the more I see how good a man you are. How safe you make me feel. I didn't think that anybody could really do that for me. I'm not sure if I'm used to it yet. What? It's okay, I, I laid a lot on you. All right, so if you want to wait, or, or if you uh, need some more time to make up your mind, I... Let's say that Mike really is using Jennifer to put some distance between himself and the woman he, that he really wants. Now, how do we prove that? I thought you were going to tell me. Why are you keeping me in suspense? OK, OK, OK. Uh, Mike's a good guy, right? And, and let's just say that he has moved on. Now, what would he want for you? He'd want you to find true love and happiness just like he has, eh? Where are you going with this? Well, Katie, don't you remember anything that I have taught you? If Mike is using Jennifer to move on, then you have to do the same thing. You want me to hook up with Jennifer? <laughs> no, no! What are you... No, me! Marry me! On the next As the World Turns... Long term, Mike and I are meant to be together. He knows that too. In fact, I'm sure he's probably thinking of me right now. Hey! Where's Jack? He's at work. Why, why do you need to see him? Well, because thanks to him, I have lost my husband to another woman. You're coming to the box? Jack. I'm moving him out. 